paper says using Einstein's sync method, it gives the difference of displays at the same instant, which is what you're talking about, between clocks alpha and beta. The difference is constant in time. But then it says the original Einstein clock sync method was an attempt to set up an identical display on two remote clocks on the same frame at the same time. Yeah. It makes sense that they're trying to, that's, that's the whole goal is that um, they each have their in, individual clocks. They each have their in, in individual sort of time dilation corrections because of the fact that the orbits aren't circular. And so sometimes they're going faster, sometimes they're going slower, sometimes they're closer, sometimes they're further, but they do need to have, they do need to uh, send messages to the receiver in a synchronized uh, in, in, a, in a consistent fashion, so they synchronize their clocks so that they're all uh, communicating to the receivers at the same time. So that's that's what the synchronization is for. And yeah, that's I mean, that's what you just said that they, they yeah they have to you know yeah so so they get it in the same frame at the same time. So then once they do that, it all becomes described in terms of the ECI frame. And once once it's all, you know, put into the ECI frame and it's all in the same frame at the same time being described in those terms, you've got the rate from alpha to beta propagation being faster than the rate from beta to alpha propagation. You've got, you know, New York to San Francisco going faster than San Francisco to New York, bro, at that same instant. You're saying, saying that again, like you're complaining those two things again, when, when the alpha to beta beta alpha that's just the that's the sagnac correction that's being made on this in the synchronization process this is just the the synchronization process between the satellites this is done regularly uh with with the vehicles themselves so that they're all on the same page uh this isn't necessarily done um you know in reference to finding it uh, you know in in this in the same process as finding its um uh you're, you're finding your position rotation. like you, your so message it's sending you then, right so not why rotation. do you keep saying why do you why do you keep saying that about the Nobody's rotation effect, like 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 it's you're forgetting what that even is dude no the sagnac the sagnac effect would uh could apply to let's say if you have a signal let's say you have a, a circle i thought it was you just have, rotation you, though, right yeah it, 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 hold on hold on for a second brian Let's say you have a circle or you have a triangle even, and you have uh, the objects uh, going around in a triangle and they're uh, emitting signals to one another at the speed of light. The Sagnac effect is actually going to cause some of that light to be received by some of the other signals faster than uh, the other direction, right? So it's going to travel faster in one direction than the other direction, okay? So uh, the Sagnac correction that's happening here is the uh, communication between the satellites themselves, which would also be behaving like the um, objects going around the circle or the triangle or whatever, because they're orbiting the Earth. And so as they're communicating with, with each other to synchronize their clocks, they have to do a second net correction. Put, okay, hey. Quick, quick question for you. So ahead, to, keep, to keep the satellites in sync, right? They're they're correcting for their const they're constantly correcting their velo their for their velocity in reference to the center of the ECI reference frame. So that in and of itself is a direct violation of special relativity. Once the clocks nope. are in an Einstein synchronization, their velocity should not change them at all, right? Because the I speed see. of light should be the same. It's independent of the source or observer's motion, right? But it retards proportionally to their velocity exactly. That's how they maintain mm -hmm. the clocks. In addition to that, they apply a quote unquote another Sagnac effect for the for quote unquote Earth rotation. They say, right? right but like go, it, dude, let's just, let's stay, no, let's no, stay no. on the no 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 no. Let's stay on how the clock stays point. synchronized. Yeah, right. Let's just stay on how the clock stays synchronized. Right. So how is so how is the clock correcting for its velocity relative to a mathematical coordinate system? Yeah, right. So the coordinate system, the ECI frame doesn't have a clock. It's not a clock in itself. Negative, Ghost the, Rider. The ECI reference frame is synced to the sidereal rotation. 
That frame right. is this sidereal e, the ECI, The ECI reference frame is simply a spatial reference frame. It's just a reference frame that's... Exactly. Uh, so why is it... Yeah, yeah, so hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Alan, 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 I'm responding to Sorry, you. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. My bad. I apologize. So the ECI frame is simply a spatial reference frame that's describing the positions uh, of the, you know, the, the Earth being fixed and the stars being fixed and the Earth rotating within that frame. Because the frame's not rotating with the Earth. That's all it is. And so when you say that the clocks are synchronized with that frame, all that means is that, uh, you know, th there's, not a, there's not a single clock that has the, you know, quote, unquote, correct time. They have a shared time that they all need to, uh, you know, uh, synchronize with. And so depending on, you know, uh, whether one's going faster or slower or closer or further, it itself is going to have to make corrections so that it stays on the same, um, uh, you know, uh, same synchronization with the rest of them. But that has nothing to do. That has nothing to do guy. with. Hold on, hold on. Dude, it has nothing dude. to do with the uh, the ECI frame itself because the ECI frame doesn't have a like a velocity or anything like that. So the the um, dude, you're. I, uh, I agree. It doesn't have anything hold to on, do with dude. Hold up. Frame. Hold up, dude. Because you're saying that there, the time is fixed to the center of the Earth in the ECI frame, and dude, that just doesn't that doesn't. Go ahead, listen, wrap it up, dude. B. Yeah, Hold dude, on. you're well, like monologue. Interrupting me then. You're monologue slash waffling. I mean, come on. Because he keeps interrupting. He keeps interrupting. I'm trying to make a point. And I'm, I'm, I mean, I, let me just make the point. The point is that the ECI frame doesn't have a clock. Okay, it's not like the the reason that time dilation occurs is because the speeds are different and the gravitation is different. The ECI frame is just a spatial uh, collection of coordinates. It, it it doesn't make sense that there's a clock there. The reason why you're saying that the they share or that the clock is uh is uh referring to the ECI frame is because that's their shared reference system. Buddy, do you, you don't need hold on one second. So time doesn't have anything to do with it, but it's their shared time. Like dog, just listen to this. They're all synced to sidereal time, right? The ECI frame and the ECEF frame, right? So they, they're correcting for their relative velocity to stay in sync because there's a retardation in, in the wavelengths, right? In C, proportional to their velocity, similar to how Sagnac showed when a rotating device, uh, uh, and you have a split beam going counterclockwise and clockwise with that device, it retards proportionally to the rotation of the device, right? So they say, oh, you know, it's rotation, blah, 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 right? This craft is supposed to be free falling around the Earth. It's, in a, it's what they call it in a local inertial frame, right? It should not be correcting for its absolute velocity as it's free falling around the Earth at all. There should be no corrections necessary in that regard. The fact that there's any relative to any reference frame that they try to dress it up as is a violation of special relativity in and of itself. Doesn't matter what coordinate system you're talking about, what spatially, blah, 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 it's irrelevant. The, the fact that that correction exists in and of itself, it defeats special relativity. That's it. Like that, just step one and syncing a clock to, to get GPS to work. Just step one falsifies relativity theory. Yeah, so that's because a bold claim. That's a bold claim. However, it, that, that, you have to look at the history of it's, how... It's an experimental I, fact, bro. Hold it's on. It's an experimental man. fact. Hold it's on, not dude. a bold claim. It's literally... Oh, hold, okay, this is what I'm saying. This, how this is how this is so You guys interrupt every second word. Just hold up. What I'm saying to you is that uh, before you got here, I was explaining how the, the history of the... Um, uh, how that correction was first... Uh, like how those clocks were first... How the, how the GPS time was first established. It was established so that uh, even though that they're further away from the earth and they're moving faster and all this, and there's time dilation involved, uh, it offset their clocks such that as their clocks are, uh, you know, marking, the, you know, marking the time of the week and it, uh, all this, it's consistent with what's happening on earth so that when the message is sent, it's makes sense to us on earth. And so, uh, when that was a fit, when that was initially established, the GPS time, that's the, um, uh, the time that they're all trying to synchronize, the, that the clocks up there are synchronizing to. That's the like, ideal uh, ideal time. I think it's something like a circular orbit at a specific distance. Okay, and what happens is they're all they're all varying their distances and their speeds. 
And so as they do that, they just have to synchronize so that they're all on the same page. It's not like a, a violation that they have to do that. That's, it makes sense. That's just something they would have to do because they're experiencing time dilation. They're all, they are all, they're all in their own separate reference frame. They're in their own orbital frame. Hey, Let me break down the corrections for you. So they say, and this is nowadays, right? So pre like 1995, they weren't making any relativistic corrections, let alone relative simultaneity corrections, right? Because th those don't exist even today, right? So that's that in and of itself is just relativity is out the window. But let's like go ahead and pretend, right? So how what they say they're correcting for on the general relativity factor, right? They say that they're at 20,000. They said that these satellites are at 20,000 kilometers, right? Now that altitude is in dispute. Doesn't matter. What the correction that they actually, uh, the, the explanation that they say is that at 20,000 uh, uh, kilometers, that the Earth's gravitational potential is equal potential, right? So there's no there's no variance in the in the gravitational potential gradient. So they so they have a flat baseline correction that they make for that, right? Similarly to how you know how there's a uh, what do you call it a static electric field that goes up at you know at altitude with a you know same same situation, right? So they're they're they have a fixed uh, thing that they're correcting for, right? So if there's a static electric gradient that that uh, goes into the sky, increases in in voltage and at altitude. That impedance is going to, uh, you know, retard the clock, right? So there's so similar correction there, right? There's no distinction between what you're saying is uh, t time dilation, right? Like you're throwing that word around really loosely, but there's not any time dilation going on because all these clocks are synced to the same time, right? So we'll we'll, we'll get to that. So this th that's for general relativity, right? So they say they're making their equal gravitational potential correction, right? And then they say, okay, well here's here's our special relativity corrections. We're going to make a velocity correction. Uh, for the rotation of the Earth, right? So they say because because it's rotating in or away from the Earth, like you're, it's getting um, a boost there, right? Which is retarded, right? And then in addition to that, the craft itself is correcting for its velocity relative to the center of the ECI frame, right? It's just correcting for its velocity to keep in sync with GP, with GPS time, right? Because there's a retardation proportional to to its own velocity, which isn't time dilation. That's not called time dilation. Time dilation is not the same correction as what you're describing there, right? And if you want to get into time dilation and stuff, right, we, we can get into SAGNEC, we can get into the Wang experiment, how the, the lab frame time and the, and the observer time, right, where the, uh, where the observation was recorded, how those two frames are the same time, and the only thing that varies is C, right? So we're, we're not dealing with uh, time dilation at this point, right? We're talking the velocity of the craft in free fall orbit in you guys' model should not have any reference to correct velocity for it shouldn't matter right the speed of light should be maintained for itself so when you keep saying oh it's time dilating and all this stuff nope you're either not understanding the argument or you're or just or you're obfuscating so the distinction here is that it's correcting for its own velocity to keep it to keep the clock in sync it's not even talking to other clocks at this point it's just just to just to keep its own shit in sync it corrects okay. for its own velocity Alan, you're getting strangely confident about something. I'm, I'm well familiar with all this stuff. The corrections that you're talking about, the, uh, uh, they, they are indeed time dilation corrections. They're based on the velocity. That's why they need to be made. Wait, you're saying the same thing I'm saying, but then disagreeing with me and then not realizing that the, those corrections are being made because yeah. of the fact that, yeah, what you said about the equal gravitation, that's the ideal. Like I said, they have an idealized um, – uh, orbit like a, uh, a, a circular orbit, which is a consistent distance. Okay, what's happening though is each of the vehicles have different uh, uh, elliptical orbits, which bring them closer to the Earth and further from the Earth, and faster and slower. And for this reason, their clocks are not going to be synchronized, and so their clocks are going to be offset because of the fact that they're experiencing different gravitational uh, time dilations and different. Um, special relativity time uh, dilations. This is the reason why their clocks are not in sync. And this is why they have to sync back up. I, I don't know why that's like a seeming, seemingly a violation of something. That's, that's the whole, that's the mechanism that they're doing. They're trying to maintain the same clock, the same clock that they can relay back to us. May I make a very quick small interjection before he relays the rest of his point? The only thing that you really need to even harp on before going deep is that axiomatically special relativity states that 
the conjunction of a light speed velocity with a less than light speed velocity can never increase the speed of the light speed velocity. So like Toby kind of put it more simply earlier, 0.9 plus 0.9 can never be greater than 1 in, in special relativity. The fact that they're doing this correction shows that they're taking C plus something less than C ending up greater than C. That's the violation that's occurring. It doesn't matter relative to what frame. It doesn't matter relative to itself, what conversions. Have, like You have C being affected by something less than C, and that's not allowed. Go ahead, Alan. You're, just ta you're talking about a, a typical uh, Sagnev correction. Which is just yeah, that's not like that's I, not I, I, I went over, over that. Dude, so what? A typical Sagnac correction isn't a relativistic effect. No, it's not. Yeah, you're right. It's a sag. It's a Sagnac correction. Which, uh, <laughs> like, dude. So they're they're so, synchronizing with each other as they're moving, and as they're doing this, and they're sending signals to each other. They're moving, and this is going to cause a Sagnac effect. This is why it's applied. No, dude. It's been an honor and a pleasure. I'm gonna tap out, man. Yeah, that's yeah, a good idea. I mean, we can respond to that. I mean, it's it's a it's a very basic Sagnaf. Uh, no, you're going in circles, situation. Man. Yeah, you've been that's going because you just keep like repeating yourself. This is like the fifth or sixth circle, yeah. actually. Yeah. Okay, so not, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question based on what I just let me ask you a question based on what I just said. The satellites are going in an orbit around the Earth at different positions. They're going in different orbits around the Earth. How would why would you think they would not apply a Sagnaf correction? As they're sending signals to one another. If I Under believe that model? the speed of light didn't matter if they were <laughs> about your velocity, then uh, I would then I would be like uh, you know I wouldn't uh, wouldn't expect there to be one, right? The fact that there's one proportional to their velocity relative to nothing means it's correcting for its absolute velocity, which again which can't be can't be done, right? It's in a free fall orbit. The Earth's in a free fall orbit around the sun. We can't detect that, right? Like, do you understand the contradiction here? Not a contradiction there. Like, the Sagnac effect uh, occurs because of the fact that it's uh, rotating, right? So it's like it's rotating in a frame. Yeah. So the, well, yeah. we know that that's not true from the Wang experiment. Hold so, on, like, guys. You know, we, we know guys, it's not on. just I agree it's rotating. But hold it's hold on, guys, real quick. Thing. Real quick, guys, guys. We're about to do Witted thing. You can stay down here if you want. But we're about to All start right. this thing up right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, and like, I'm not trying to interrupt you. I just want to let you guys Let's know. Let's go. Yeah, take no, your story, bro. whatever. I'm going to pop no, up. Fuck it. We've, been, we've been going in circles for like... Send it. Send it. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. Send it. What yeah, so we're going to bro. Real quick, I was just saying, we'll go ahead and uh, move everyone into the stage channel because we're going to do a... Uh, Wits is going to do a, a, his stream and an event. So, um, yeah, if anyone... You guys can jump back into other rooms if you want to kind of talk off the live stream, but just to make it easy for everyone, we'll move everyone up there, so... And uh, yeah. Love you guys. See you on the other side, boys. <laughs>